Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you all back to another episode of Tuesday Morning Quarterback. This week, we had the Eagles versus the Saints. Now, Derek Carr and him was coming off a great victory when they played the Cowboys. Derek Carr whooped the Cowboys so bad, he is doing the Michael Jackson in the end zone, okay? The Michael Jackson in the end zone. I've been a Raiders fan my whole life. I ain't never seen him do the Michael Jackson in the end zone. Moving on. They went head up against the Eagles, okay? Eagles, Jalen Hurts and them looking for a win. They looking for a win. They looking to get their chemistry back. Their chemistry been off a little bit. Know what I mean? They didn't make the Super Bowl last year. It just the chemistry been off. A.J. Hurt and Devontae, he just ain't doing his big one. Spider-Man, Slim Reaper supposed to be out there snagging shit. Feel me? Like Odell Beckham or something. He ain't doing none of that. He out there looking like Herman Moore or something. You know what I mean? But anyway, Jalen went out there and did his big one. You know why? Because he got Saquon. Saquon out there doing his Dougie looking like Heisman. I know the motherfucking Giants mad as fuck. Because Saquon won the fucking game for him. Saquon busted out. He was a little slow in the beginning, but he busted out for 143. Okay? 143. Eagles was not going down. Eagles was not going down. It took them a while to get that shit going because, you know, DC be having this little mojo going and shit, but nah, -uh, it wasn't enough. You feel me? It wasn't enough. The defense, y'all was looking a little suspect, man, until y'all rung Devontae Bell. <laughs> Listen, Devontae was seeing stars, bruh. Devontae was seeing stars. Matthew and them, your honey badger, banging shit, was out there, had... Listen, Devontae didn't even know. He thought he was back in Alabama. But anyway, the, the Eagles pulled it out, man, on Saquon back. Not on Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts was throwing weak-ass interceptions. When motherfuckers just be throwing interceptions like that, that should be irritating. Because you threw the motherfucking ball right to the motherfucking cornerback. Man, what kind of precision is that, man? You ain't no motherfucking. You need to be Jake Plummer in the pocket, fool. What is you doing, Jalen? But he outdoed, outdoed motherfucking Carr, though. Carr thought he had it going. They had to lead. Mm -mm. Saquon was not going out. So, Jalen, you need to be thanking Saquon right now on that win. But, you know, we're going to give it to you because you the quarterback, so... You know what I mean? Nice victory. But, Jalen, you're going to have to get it together, bro. You're going to have to get it together, bro. You're going to have to start, you know what I'm saying, doing a little bit more on third down. You know what I'm saying? Completing them conversions and shit. And stop going back to the sideline looking like it's somebody else's fault. You know what I mean? But sometimes I do see you come back to the huddle when you keep the linemen calm and shit. You know what I mean? But I want to see when they coming back to the huddle, why you ain't slapping their hands like a good quarterback? Feel me? After y'all score, after the kickoff, after a field goal, you supposed to be slapping hands in. You know what I mean? Saying thank you. Say thank you to the offensive line, bro. You know what I mean? You got all these commercials and all that. Just buy an offensive lineman a Rolex or something. And... Man, listen, Gardner and them, Gardner and them on the, the Eagles defense, they don't give a fuck about Reddick. Fuck him. Go to the fucking Jets. But anyway, Gardner and them, Johnson, Gardner, whatever that fool name is, had D.C. on scary time. Had D.C. Derek Carr on scary time. Wasn't doing no Michael Jackson in the end zone this week. Y'all ate that L. But anyway... DC, hope y'all get a win next week. And Jalen Hurts, man, came in there and did his one too. Thank you, Saquon. Thank the Lord for Saquon. The football gods, thank you for bringing Saquon to the Eagles because y'all needed that shit. Y'all needed that shit like 
Y'all needed Ricky Waters back in the day. 